You guys ready for your first comedian this evening? Please welcome to the stage from Wilmington, North Carolina, John Fels. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina. No one loves living here, apparently. All right. All right, yeah, we love living here, don't we? Yeah! We love it! We love living in this town. We especially love it when our friends come to visit us here because that's when we do all the things we want them to think that we do all the time, right? It's like, hey, what's going on, friend from Winston-Salem? Welcome to Wilmington. First thing we're gonna do is eat at a waterfront restaurant because that's how we eat all our meals. We can't possibly consume food unless we're looking at a body of water. Beachfront, downtown, riverfront, doesn't matter. Are you telling me that in Raleigh, you eat in buildings surrounded by walls? <laughs> Nonsense. Then we're all gonna have a beach bonfire, cause it's Friday. <laughs> Just your standard run of the mill operating Friday procedure. Why, how do you stay warm in Asheville? not have beach bonfires? We're gonna spend all day at Wrightsville Beach because yes, it does mean when we live here, we spend all of our time at the beach, all right? We totally take advantage of that, yeah? I'm gonna surf because that's cool. And that surfboard in my living room totally gets used. Doesn't just double as a coffee table, it doubles both. We're gonna hit up the downtown nightlife. A little bit of rooftop bar, level five, a little bit of nut street comedy, some downtown hotspots. Wake up on Johnny Mercer's Pier to watch the sunrise and do the same darn thing the next day. Oh man, yeah, man, that's right. Oh man, man, living in Charlotte must suck. Oh, but that's just how we do it here in Wilmington. Our life is your vacation. Let's face it, I don't go to the beach. I don't go to the beach because I work full time, right? It's not a good, working full time will make you miss certain parts of your life. Working full time will make you miss wonderful things like college, especially. Because in college, magical things would happen. Like in college, you would just show up to class sometimes and there'd just be a sign on the door, class canceled, professor didn't feel like coming in. All right, let's go to the beach. That never happens at my office. I will never show up to work and have the beast sign on the door that says, work canceled. CEO didn't feel like coming in. All right, let's take a nap. It's always more like, work still on. CEO didn't feel like being here, but you still have to be here. All right, let's take a nap on my lunch break if I get one. You have any UCW people in here at all? Any, any kids in school, yeah? Oh man. When I was at UCW, I used to go to the beach all the I would go to the beach so much in college, it was your job to go to the beach. You would go to the beach so much in college, you would skip beach to go to class. That's how much you do. Like, man, I can't make it, I can't make it to class today. I can't make it to beach. I can't make it to beach. I'm skipping beach. I'm skipping beach to go to class, all right? Sign my name. Sign my name in the sand. So it thinks that I'm there. Because that's the attendance sheet for the beach. I just got married. That was very exciting. Just got married. Yeah. <laughs> Younger married people over here, right? Uh, this is like a slow clap over here. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Very good, just kidding. Marriage is great. A lot, of, a lot of controversial topics, a lot of issues surrounding the marriage topic, such as the political issue of gay marriage. That's a scary one. Look, look folks, I'm a conservative Christian and I'm for gay marriage. I want to see gay marriage because I want to see a gay divorce court. Be the funniest show on television, would it not? It come on right after American Idol. Tonight on Fox, gay divorce court. Bruce and Gary duke it out over the curtains. Your Honor, he wants to have the curtains, but he can't have them, they're mine. Whatever, you design them anyway, they're ugly. <gasps> Fine, I get the cat. You'd have two lesbians in there fighting over who gets the lucky softball bat. I, uh... <laughs> oh, all right. Man, I should stop. Where's that light? I'm no, just kidding. Don't go. 
And I, uh, I heard about this event on Facebook, most like most of you guys, you know? Facebook ain't what it used to be either, you know? Like, remember when you first got Facebook and it was awesome? You were getting like 20 friend requests per day. It was like, man, I am popular. <laughs> How many times do I have to click confirm? You would join any stupid group for any dumb reason, you know? Like, I support a Wilmington football team. You know what? Sounds like a pretty good idea. Join. <laughs> this group here likes raisins. I love raisins, yes! <laughs> yes, I will join this group. And I will become an administrator. People like me. What's Facebook now? Lame. All you have now is just that status bar that tells people feelings and whatnot. And girls have put their feelings translated into song lyrics, you know? Ah, I'm so mad at my boyfriend. But wait, you know who can say this better? Alanis Morissette, yeah. I just like messing with people clicking the like button, you know? It's like Tom and Jane have ended their relationship. Phelps likes this. <laughs> Elizabeth is now listed as single. Phelps likes this. <laughs> Elizabeth and Tani are in an open relationship. Phelps is confused by this, but still kind of likes it. Uh, like Matt said, my name is John Phelps. So, uh, you know what? You can say anything you want about Facebook, but let's face it, people, no one's getting off that thing. I'm going to be on Facebook forever until I'm like 90. And like by then, like the news mini feed thing, we, put, we tell you when people have died and whatnot, you know? It's like Blair Rutledge is no longer listed as living. Would you like to attend her funeral? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Guys, my name's John Phelps. Thank you for letting me tell jokes. Give it up for the other comics.